Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter pivot table using Excel VBA. All right, so basically in this video, I'm going to show you how to control the filters field. In this pivot table, I have two fields. One is the year field, and the other one is the product field. And let's take a look. For the year field, I only have two items, 2013 and 2014. And for the product field, I have these products. Let me use product field for uh, this demonstration. And here let me recreate the pivot table. All right, so everything looks pretty good. Now in my FIBA script, I'm going to create a new subroutine. And I'm going to show you two different examples. One example is to show you how to filter a single item. And the other example is to show you how to filter multiple items. All right, so I'm going to name this something filter single item. And the other subroutine is going to be filter multiple items. And we'll start with the single item filter first. If we go back to pivot table filter, by default, we can only select one item at a time, unless you check the select multiple items option. And that will let you to select multiple items from your filter. All right, so let's see. I'm going to declare my variables first. I want to create a pivot table object. So I'm going to deem PT as pivot table. Next, I want to declare my pivot field object. I'm going to name uh, this object PF product as Pivot field. Alright, so let me create my pivot table object first. So I'll type set pt. I'll type set pt is equals to this workbook. That worksheet. And my pivot table is sitting on the report tab. That pivot table, actually pivot tables. And I need to insert the pivot table's name. So if I go to the pivot table analyze tab, and here's the pivot table name, I'm going to copy the name and I'll paste the name to uh, to the pivot tables method. And here I'm going to empty out the pivot table object once I finish all the actions. All right, so I have created my pivot table object. Now I can create a uh, product field object. So it's going to be set PF product is equals to PT dot pivot field, actually fields. And here I'm going to insert the field name and it's going to be product. And here I'm going to empty out uh, the object. Every time when I'm filtering my pivot table report, I always make sure that I reset the filter first. So let me reference the product pivot field, and it's going to be PF product. And I can reset the filter belongs to uh, this pivot field by referencing the clear all filters method. This is going to be reset pivot field filter. Now I can filter the pivot table based on the item that I want to select. All right, so let's say I want to select the product VTT. Going back to the uh, subroutine. Here I'll reference the pivot field object dot current page. It's equals to the product name and it's going to be VTT and that's it. Now if I run the filter single item macro, and it's going to set the product filter to VTT. Now, if I want to filter multiple items, here let me copy this code block. And I'll delete everything uh, in between the set statement. All right, so first I'm going to clear the pivot field filter. Next, I need to make sure that 
the select multiple item setting is checked. Now you can enable that setting by referencing the pivot field that enable multiple page items. I'll set the value to two. And it's going to be enable multiple items selection. And it's going to be reset pivot field filter. Now we can select the items that I want to uh, select. Now let's say I want to select VTT and Peso, just those two items. So I'm going to insert the pivot field object. Then I'll type the pivot item, actually pivot items. Inside the uh, filter list, each item is a pivot item. So here I need to insert the pervert items method followed by the item name. And this one's going to be uh, peso. Let me check the product name. Should be P-A-S-E-O. I need to set the visibility to true. Now I can copy this line, make a copy, and I'll change the field name to VTT. Now set the visibility to true. This should be select the pervert items. Right, so if I run uh, the subroutine, and we check, and everything is checked. Let me see. Oh, okay. So I took that back. So by default, this statement is going to reset the pervert field filter to enable every single item from the list. So if you want to make sure that only these two items is select, then we need to set the visibility of other uh, pervert items to false. We need to hide those pervert table items except these two, basically. All right, so this is going to be a little bit uh, time consuming. All right, so I'm going to simply just go to uncheck VTT and Peso, and that's it. I'll simply set the visibility of these two uh, pervert items to false. So that means I want to filter everything except these two products. Now if I run the macro again, and going back to the filter option, every single product is checked except Peso and VTT. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.